traditional communication between multiple services relies on HTTP-based REST protocol, which uses bulky and verbose data formats like JSON or XML. This results in excessive bandwidth consumption and high latency. This is not suitable in highly distributed microservices architecture. Microservices need fast and reliable communication, and to fix this, Google came with framework called as GRPC. Today, we will write two services in Node and Python and implement GRPC-based client and server. To see implementation and working demo, stay tuned till the end of the video. Instead of relying on text-based formats, GRPC uses a highly efficient binary protocol called protocol buffers. This means smaller payloads and faster communication, reducing bandwidth usage and latency significantly. GRPC uses HTTP2 protocol. This allows us to send multiple requests concurrently over single connection. This is called as multiplexing. Let's see how to write proto file. We are going to write a calculator service having two remote procedure calls, add and multiply. Let's create file to define protobuf for calculator. Let's define service. Service is like defining controller with bunch of RPC calls. Let's define add endpoint, which accepts numbers message as a input and returns, result message as a output. Let's define one more endpoint with name multiply, and it again takes numbers message as a input and returns, result message as a output. Remember these both messages are strongly typed, so we have to define these messages in protobuf file. Let's define numbers message. Numbers message has two inputs of type int32, and each one has field number one and two respectively. Field numbers help to identify field inside encoded message. Let's define second message result. It has only one field called value of type int32. This is our final calculator protobuf file. In some strongly typed languages like Python and Java, these protobufs needs to be compiled and converted into language-specific structures like class. But in weakly typed languages like JavaScript, this is not necessary. Today we will see both approaches, where on server side we will use JavaScript and for client, Python. Let's create new NodeAids project using npm init. Here, we will keep all details as a default. Next, we will install gRPC packages using npm. We will need three packages in this case. Let's create new index.js file and write our gRPC server. Let's import gRPC and gRPC proto loader in our newly created file. Next, we will load our calculator proto file and load package definition into gRPC object. Next, we will fetch calculator proto from gRPC object. Now our proto buff is ready to use. Remember, due to JavaScript being weakly typed, we don't have to do proto buff compilation here. Now we need two server side functions to perform add and multiply operation. Let's define first function add. It takes two parameter call and callback. Call will consist of request information, and callback will help us to send result back to client. Multiply function will be exact copy of add function except change in operation. Let's define main function. We will declare one address and create gRPC server. Let's register our calculator service and function with this gRPC server. Here we will bind port of local host with server and finally start our server. That's it. Let's call main function by default. If we now run our index.js file, gRPC server is ready to serve incoming requests. Let's write our gRPC client in Python. Remember, Python is strongly typed language, and because of same our protobuf needs to be compiled. I have already downloaded Python gRPC compiler. Let's compile our calculator.proto file, and it will generate two Python files for our protobuf file. We need to create app.py file to write our gRPC client. Here we will import gRPC and newly created two files. Inside main method, we will specify address and create gRPC channel. Next, we will load stub. For calculating addition and multiplication, 
we need to read two numbers from user. Using these numbers, we will create numbers message, which we will pass to add and multiply methods. And finally, we print response on terminal. Our server is already running. Let's run our client and specify two numbers. We can see server responded with results. So that's all about gRPC. If you don't subscribe, then maybe you will never meet us again. So if you liked this video, then give thumbs and subscribe. Thank you.